in for a bit of a treat today, something completely different. And up at Lindon Lakes, and we're actually watching the netting of the Bonsai Lake. Probably one of the most famous lakes in commercial fishing history, this. Awesome venue, awesome lake. Getting drained down, it's got a bit silty in its, in its days now, so they're doing the right thing, netting all fish out, desilting it, and then it'll be restocked. So let's see how we get on today. So just before we get going with the actual netting, I'm going to give you a quick look around what they did last week. So this is Bonsai Lake, for those of you that don't know, and this is in front of the tackle shop. So the tackle shop's round here, just to me right. This is digger that they've been using to pull out silt out. And as you can see, they've already made a good start on making a good depth down track. So I'm being told down track now, it'll probably be nine, 10 foot-ish all the way along where they've made a start. They're gonna leave where islands are. They're gonna leave it around three foot around islands. So you've still got a good depth to fish around islands, shallower water, and then a good deep track down the middle. And then this near side, obviously they're gonna re-peg it, put some nice pegs in and make a shelf. So it won't all just slope away like this. They are actually gonna make shelves and looking down the lake you can see where they've already made a good start to that i know it does look a little bit of a mess at the minute but obviously it'll all get tidied up and look pristine when they're finished they're just getting rid of all silt and digging down into clay at the minute to make it a bit deeper obviously it'll be great once it's finished it'll look pristine so they have got a load of fish out of it already six or seven ton which are being held in a stock pond on site so they'll be going back in with a load of new fish as well. So you don't have to worry about all fish going. <laughs> it's not going to be an issue. But just, just amazing. And then this part, obviously, they haven't quite got to this part yet. It's all been drained, but they've still got to take the silt out. This is old Peg 35. It's walking up to the top end of the lake. But just good to look. It's not often, obviously, it's the first time this lake's ever been drained since it's been built. It's from really good lake, phenomenal lake. Some really good matches, match weights on it. But if you look at the amount of silt, no wonder it fizzes sometimes when you put bait in and you catch a lot of fish shallow. It'll just get lost in the silt wee bit. So we'll leave it here now, then we'll go watch some netting being done and I'll give you a look at the famous peg 69 and 70 that's always been awesome known for being an all-round flyer and let's have a look at that when there's no water in it be quite interesting Two scope of trees are crowded in this game. Well, they haven't been a complete lost mate. There's a full cross in there. Have we got tank? No. no. Well, we'll, get them, we'll get them closed off. Too. Right hole, eh? Can you take that slack <laughs> up there? Sure. This one here? Yeah. yeah, just take all that slack there. Keep going. I don't have a belt on it. Go on. There they are. Not too high with these people pushing into that gap. Nearly there. Nearly there. Nearly there. Nearly there. Nearly there. Yeah, I know, yeah, I know. 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 Yeah,
I just put carpet in the bigger one. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, Do you want to see it? One minute, one minute. Do you want to hold Yeah, yeah it's amazing. Yeah, it's lovely it? fish. Got to be at least 20 year old, them on his. Look at that. Put him back. <laughs> So now we're walking from around late 50s, just in front of cafe, and I'll walk you up. As you can see, islands are mega undercut, a lot more than what everybody initially thought. Goes right back under there, it's got to be a good metre, two metres. But plan is to backfill it all and put clay right up against it to make them solid again. Obviously, they will erode over time, but it'll take quite a while. Have a wonder up here. Seen some mega swan mussels, honestly, biggest ones I've ever seen. You can see odd lines in silt where they've been moving as well. And then there's also lines where eels have been moving. So we had a, a few eels out. As you can see, there's one there. We'll attempt to get him out in a minute and not get stuck in the silt during the process. <laughs> so there we are, moving up the lake. You can see all islands are pretty same, pretty similar even, all well undercut. But credit to Lindome putting back into the fishery, there's not many, 64 bonsai now, so there's not many fishery owners that I've known that have drained the full lake down, empty it, net it, so obviously it's not an easy lake to net with all the islands and stuff in, but done a great job getting rid of all that silt, builds up over time, putting money back into it, obviously it costs thousands to do something like this. But it's credit to them, brilliant fishery management. And obviously fish are going to thrive, going to restock it with fish that are in the year already, as well as some, some more new fish. Here we are now up at the famous peg 69 and 70 on this bend. Look at how undercut that is. You can see why these are flyers, can't you? Fish just sit under there, cast as tight as you can, and you just catch loads of fish, obviously live under there. The eagle I'd leave and see Adam's word is there as he tried to rescue an eel and failed. <laughs> Have you got bottom in like? Are you getting Not many, but there's some, isn't there? Are you, are you many there. No. So we've got the other one in there and pull the fish out yeah. there like that. I think it's really kept snagging up, isn't it? That's it, we've got them all there now, they can't get out of that now. Not many, but we've got a few, aren't we? 
Go on, look at that little tent. Golden tent. Where are you? He's not Kelly, I think. Oh. 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 We were going to put it on here, weren't we? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Can someone the net? And yeah. it. Can I do that? Uh. Good one! Yeah, I was going to say, Adam. That's not too bad, is it? Just watch you. Don't go any further. Bigger. It's not as big as other. He's wrecking up a bit, isn't he? Yeah. So we've arrived at the new home for the fishes. So it's a stock pond that has been built this year. So there we go, we're gonna move all the fish that we've collected from that half a bonsai today. <laughs> We're off into this lake, lovely big lake for him. And then when we want them back, it's cracking when instead. Aaron wants them back <laughs> even, and let that lake take them back into bonsai. And there's already a load of fish in here as well. So a load of F1s that they've got earlier in the year that have been grown on to mix in with them. And then they'll put some new fish in as well. So don't worry about it being short of fish. It's something that Lindome's famous for is Obviously having plenty of fish, no shortage where they came from. But it's lovely to see this sort of thing happening. Loads of fish. <laughs> Obviously that's how they get transported. Just in um, the barrel with water. It haven't been long, literally less than a minute journey from one lake to other. So they're in there, get transferred over. Safely back. Everyone's a swimmer. I hope you've enjoyed this video, something completely different and I look forward to fishing here when it's all done. Cheers guys!